My name is Terry Waller and I'm the Director of Water for All International. I'm from San Angelo, Texas, but we've been missionaries in Bolivia for many, many years. We have a program in Bolivia where we teach families to drill their own water wells. And uh, we also have a little program in Ethiopia. And we're trying to open one in Uganda and maybe one in Kenya. Statistics are vary from 800 million to a billion people in the world today still have water problems, water and sanitation problems. That, um, out in the rural areas, especially in Africa, but a lot of places still in South America and, and Asia, um, there's many, many families that have to haul water from a, you know, a community well a long way away, or, or worse, they have to haul it from open sources like a, a creek or a, even the bar ditch. So there's just a huge water problem in the world. Uh, and it's not something that's getting better, it's getting worse. Um, I don't have the stats right on the tip of my tongue, but it's like in 25 years, there's, I've heard there could be as many as, I forget, 4 billion people with a water problem. So it's not like something we've got a handle on, and there needs to be new ways of approaching it. In Ethiopia, if you call a drilling company up online, they're going to charge you anywhere from five to $10,000 for a 100-foot well. Um, and you understand why once you've worked there, because the roads are so bad, it's hard to get equipment in, and it's cost them a lot to import these big drilling rigs and all that. But if you empower people to do their own work, whew, you can lower the cost to a hundred dollars. You know, water's too important for you know poor people to have to wait on some um, some professional to show up in their village to provide them water. So we look for a well drilling technology that where they could do it themselves. Um, people have been providing themselves water for millennia, they dig a hole in the ground, you know, great big hole in the ground, which is pretty dangerous. Sometimes they can't get deep enough, so they suffer. But um, so what we are is kind of an extension of that idea. The old art of hand digging a well, we're just an extension of it, changing the tools a little bit to make a very small hand dug well rather than a giant hand dug well. And, uh, and it can be done, and it can be done safely. We teach folks that. I've always been a Christian missionary, and part of our ethos or part of our missiology is that we want to empower people. Um, God shares his dominion with, uh, with us. So it's good and proper that people have control over their own lives, you know, their immediate surroundings. We call it proper limited dominion over their own lives. And that's what, we're, that's what we want folks to do. And how can they have that if they don't have water? One of the most basic things in the world. We developed this low-cost well drilling technique. Um, some people have called it the Baptist well drilling method, the waterfall method. It's a simple hydraulic percussion method using plastic pipe and a drill pipe. It's real simple. Everything you do can be done manually with just, you know, four guys pulling a rope and another guy standing over the little tool going up and down. We can dig in all kind of formations, from sands to gravels to um, different kind of lithified layers, rock, laterite, limestone, um, and the same basic process works. And we wanted people to be able to do their own work. Um, our most common thing we do in Bolivia is we'll form things called well clubs. We'll organize families in groups of 10, and we'll lend a drilling rig, and we'll teach them how to use it and help them drill a couple wells, and then they drill till they're finished, until each family has a water well. We ask them to get 100 bucks together, or 700 Bolivianos, each family. They drill it. Usually they're paying for it. We just lend a drilling rig and show them how to, how to do the work. What you're doing is you're mobilizing the local labor force. One, you want them to do their own work. It's just healthier. It's more, it's better for their dignity and self-respect and all that. But two, they get the well way, way cheaper that way. They're thrilled to death. A club will come around and ask about it and we'll say, yeah, everybody needs to get like 700 bees a piece together. And they're going, okay. Now I've had a mass, they'll say. And so we'll get one well out of that, right? They're thinking, they, they're thinking for 7,000 Bolivianos or roughly $1,000 they're going to get one well. I'll say, no, you're going to get 10 wells. And they'll go, no. And sometimes they want you to go back to the village and explain because they're not going to be believed when they get to the village. <laughs> so that's why we form water clubs. So these 10 guys are out there working, or 10 women and, and men are out there working, and the neighbor sees it and says, what are y'all doing? And they say, oh, well, we're making wells. And then he says, well, I want one. And so he forms a group. And then you do it with him. And then his other neighbor says, what are y'all doing? And he says, well, I want one. So they form a group. And it just goes like that. We've read studies where they say just having a well, even if you didn't have land, would increase your family income $200. You would net that by not being sick so much, by the chickens laying more eggs, et cetera, et cetera. And then we've seen some people really prosper. I mean, their, their cowherds will really grow. One of the things we did when we developed the technology, we wanted this to be something that could be reproducible. We always had an eye knowing 
there's a big need around the world and we wanted it to use off-the-shelf material. Really what we hope to create is a well drilling movement. We're making these good deep water wells. It's kind of like brick making or, um, or carpentry or ditch digging. If I don't know how to do it, my neighbor or some, somebody I know knows how to do it. It's a known art within the indigenous culture. That's our vision is to see indigenous water well drilling movements sprout up around the world, you know. But they won't happen by themselves. They take, it, it takes somebody with a focused, dedicated effort to go make them happen, to be the catalyst to make them happen. And say, I'm going to stay on the ground long enough to really get this going. In our experiences, the longer you can stay, the better. Really what's needed is somebody to go plant their lives there, you know. Jesus said the kingdom of God was like a yeast and bread, you know, it works quietly doesn't make a big deal about itself and that's really what needs to happen with this um, this isn't a big showy water project just normal ordinary people who have a real call and, and just a love and just a, a compulsion to go help poor rural people live better and to love on them and to be neighbors with them it's possible and I guess that's the message the reason we're making this video is we want to share that it's possible to do and Water for All wants to be a part of that and to teach others and encourage others to go be a part of that too